Hello, today we have got an NV200 with a clock spring airbag fault. When you start the van up, it brings up an airbag light on the dash. It starts flashing. They've also got no horn. And the steering wheel buttons do not work, as you can see. Nothing. So will that replace the clock spring behind the steering wheel? First of all, what you want to do is pop the bonnet, flap under the dash. And disconnect the battery. Two ten mils. 10 mil spanner. And what you want to do is leave that for three minutes just to let all the power drain out the battery. Now it's set for three minutes. What you want to do is remove the airbag. And to do that, I'm going to flap with a bladed screwdriver and shove it straight in the hole until you feel a tab release. With them tabs released, you can remove the airbag. There's the clips that hold the airbag in and these bits here. So what you're doing is when you're shoving that screwdriver through that hole, you're pushing that clip away from that tab. So I'm gonna disconnect the wiring for the airbag. To remove the wiring, you need a flat bladed screwdriver, put it up behind the black tab. And remove the plug. And there's also a blade there that needs pulling off. And there's also a multi-plug there. That's the airbag removed. The next part, we're gonna remove the steering wheel. You do need a 19 millimeter socket, half inch extension and ratchet, or an impact gun or driver. So we'll close that nut off like so and then for a peace of mind you can always mark where the steel wheel is currently like so there's also a line in the middle of the threads what lines up with the steel wheel so you know where the center mark is with that nut off should just be able to move the, remove the steering wheel now, watch the wiring. And that's the steering wheel removed. Now time to remove the plastic shroud. To remove the plastic shroud, there was three holes underneath. One, two, three. And up there is three positive screws. Remove them three screws and then remove the plastic trim that goes around the ignition barrel and then it should pop apart like so, there's the top part, there's the bottom part and there's the three, three holes for the three screws 
with that removed we need to remove the stalk housing there's two positive screws in there we'll get them out now With the two positive screws unscrewed, there's also a clip at the back here that holds it into the metal frame. With that clip released, you can now release the housing where the clock spring sits. We're just going to disconnect all the wiring now. All the multi plugs go into the clock spring, indicator stalk. And wipe the stalk like so and then we're going to disconnect the two with the wiring for the clock spring here we have our second hand part to put on it is the same part number as you can see what we need to do now is remove the two stalks to put them onto the new second hand part. And to do that, you release the tabs on both sides and pull, just like so. And then to fit the new one in, you just do it in reverse order, push it in, clip it in, make sure the plug is connected and repeat on the other side. We have it, both the stalks connected to the new second hand clock spring. We just need to connect all the wiring back up. We'll have to cut the cable tie, make sure it sits centre. Screw the two positive screws in. And then put the steering wheel on. That's the shroud all back on. The plastic around the ignition barrel. The screws in the bottom plastic. All the clock springs plugged in. What we need to do now is reposition the steering wheel. We need to turn the clock spring so it lines up. As you can see there, it's on the mark, lines up at the top. What we need to do now is get our 19 millimeter nut. And our impact gun. Give it a little nip. I will be talking this. I'm just talking the steering wheel now. Nice and tight. 66 Newton meters, which is recommended by Nissan. What we're gonna do now is reconnect the airbag. Firstly, plug the multi-plug back in. I did disconnect the speed connector, which didn't need to be done. So I've reconnected that. And then we get our airbag plug. Plug that into the back of the airbag. Push the black tab down. So that's all the way and connected for the airbag. And then simply locate the bottom of the airbag pin, which is that black tab there, into that hole, like so. And then give it a little firm press. And that's are all built back up. What we'll do now is reconnect the battery. The battery. Get the positive lead. Put it back on the battery. And re-tighten it with a 10 mil spanner. Just 
So it turns out that the second hand part is also a faulty. There will be a part two to this video. I like a dispute with where I got the part from. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.